Black Nose! Xiaomi is the Chinese company that has become known for producing almost affordable phones like the Xiaomi Mi 5, which we reviewed back in April. But now they're moving up in the world by revealing their first laptop. At a recent press event in Beijing, Xiaomi unveiled the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Air. It's gunning for Apple's MacBook Air and, well, clearly they wanted to make that a bit more obvious judging by the name they chose. But this Xiaomi Notebook is supposedly 13% thinner at 14.8 millimeters and is 11% smaller but still has a similar size screen to the 13.3 inch MacBook Air. Interestingly, the Notebook Air also includes a discrete graphics card, the Nvidia GeForce 940 MX, as well as a 256 gigabyte SSD and eight gigabytes of RAM. There's also an additional SATA slot if you need additional storage for up to 256 gigabytes. Xiaomi claims the Notebook Air can get 9.5 hours of battery life and gains a 50% charge in 30 minutes. It goes on sale August 2nd for $750, but there's also a smaller 12.5 inch model with slightly less powerful specs for $525. Also, they both aren't available outside of China, and there's no mention if there ever will be. So, yeah. As you may know, Epic Games founder Tim Sweeney doesn't like Microsoft's Universal Windows platform, or UWP, very much. He's against Windows 10 and the Windows Marketplace, which has been using UWP technology instead of the traditional Win32 for gaming. Now he's back at it again, telling Edge magazine that Microsoft is slowly trying to break down Steam, saying that slowly, over the next five years, they will force patch Windows 10 to make Steam progressively worse and more broken. They'll never completely break it, but will continue to break it until in five years, people are so fed up that Steam is buggy that the Windows Store seems like an ideal alternative. Now his concerns are somewhat justifiable, as we've seen games like Quantum Break only available through Windows Store and the UWP interface. And Sweeney he points out that every PC game for the past few decades have used Win32, so he doesn't want to see it all of a sudden be phased out by UWP. However, Ars Technica addresses his concerns in an in-depth article, saying that UWP is actually built on Win32. So in order to completely strip Win32, you'd also have to get rid of UWP. Microsoft has also since responded in a statement for PC Games N, saying that the Universal Windows platform is an open ecosystem that is available to every developer and can be supported by any store. But Microsoft's spokesperson did admit that UWP is in its infancy and there are still areas that need improvement. So I mean, that sounds kind of legit. Most sites seem to think that Sweeney's logic doesn't quite hold up. But what do you guys think? Does Microsoft have an evil master plan? Comment below. In more news that makes Microsoft look not so great, yesterday The Verge indicated that Microsoft has been investigating battery issues after Surface Pro 3 owners claimed that their device's batteries would only last one to two minutes. Today, Microsoft has revealed that the problem is likely a software issue and an update is on their way that should hopefully fix this. However, there appears to be an issue with the batteries themselves. The Surface Pro 3 batteries are supplied by two companies, LG and Simplo. The LG systems appear to be all right, but it's the Simplo system that have been experiencing a significant drop in battery life. Though this software update will supposedly correct this battery capacity issue and things aren't looking so bad from here, folks. It's time for... Shorter news stories said more quickly than the others. Thank you, Ryan Zero. When I first watched this, I actually thought you were playing a recording of my voice, and I'm still not completely sure. Maybe you were, but if not, that's a pretty good impression, I must say. And if that's your real voice, cool voice, man. If you want to be featured on Netflix, send me a clip of you saying shorter news stories said more quickly than the others to be on Twitter, yes. SpaceX wants to build two new landing pads at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Base in California, I have no idea if I said that right, where they hope to land all three Falcon 9 rockets that are used to make up a Falcon Heavy launch. According to the NEPA, or National Environmental Policy Act, however, they need approval from the public to make this happen for real. Metrobotics has developed a surgical robot called Flex, which is a long weird alien thing that can snake its way down a patient's throat to the area in need of surgery. Forget the throat thing, just give it a laser. Easy access. Apple CEO Tim Cook says that AR is really great and that Apple has been and will continue to invest a lot in it. He seemed to discover this uh, Pokemon Go thing as well. But that's the reason you see so many iPhones out in the wild right now chasing Pokemans. 
Inwin has launched its Platinum Classic Series 750W and 900W PSUs. It's 80 plus platinum certified and fully modular. There's also a ultra low noise 120 millimeter hypro bearing fan. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Has anyone really been far even as decided to use, even go, want to do, look more like? Yeah, that made no sense. You know what also doesn't make any sense? Not letting yourself have access to all of your stuff when you're away from your PC. Don't be nonsensical. Just download the free Unity app. All you gotta do is install it on any computer you want to have access to and install the mobile app on your phone or tablet. Once the connection is complete, you have access to all of your files, music, photos, movies, and more on the go. There's no syncing required, complicated configurations, and nothing is stored in the cloud. There's lots of other things you can do too with Unity, like access your iTunes library from your Android device, stream movies to your TV, share any size video with your friends, and the list goes on and on and on. You can even download files to your device if you know that you're going to be away from internet access. So what are you waiting for? Get unlimited access to all of your stuff on your devices by clicking here or the link in the description to learn more and download Unity for free. It's probably the best free app you could install next to Pokemon Go, of course. <laughs> All right, that's it for NetLink Daily. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Talk to us in Twitter. La oh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, this is the video one. Twitter over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And now, I was away this past weekend and got a little bit of sun on my face, but I'm not quite at the Donald Trump tan I'm aiming for. So, it's a nice day. I'm going to go outside for a bit.